This is the final module for the CFP exam which is Advanced Financial Planning. To appear for the Advanced Financial Planning, there are two pathways. One is a regular pathway and another one is a challenge status pathway. But before going for that, first I will explain. It consists five modules. First module is Introduction to Financial Planning which we call ITFP also. Second module is a Risk Analysis and Insurance Planning that is RAIP and third module is Retirement Planning and Employee Benefits that is RPEB and fourth module is Investment Planning that is we call IP and last module is Tax Planning and Estate Planning which we call TPEP. So before appearing for this exam we need to clear the concept of all modules. Now I'll explain you the difference between regular pathway and the challenge status pathway. In a regular pathway you need to clear these four module first. For first module there is no exam. This is basically a pillar of all the modules. So first exam risk analysis and insurance planning then RPEB then investment planning and the tax planning and after that you can appear for the advanced financial planning. But there is some criteria for the challenge status exam just like you have done PG and you have experience and you are a CA, you are ICWA or you have done CFA so you can directly appear for the final module which is advanced financial planning. In that case no need to appear for these four modules. You can directly appear for the final module. So generally two sample case studies given by the FPSB and apart from that there will be the five case studies which will be given in advance out of that two case studies will come in exam but only the case studies you can receive before exam and the questions will directly come in exams. So in this case studies in one case studies total 15 questions will be there which consist total 15 question and marks will be 50 and total two case studies are there so total questions will be 30 and the total marks will be 100 to pass this exam you need to score 50 percent and total exam duration will be 4 hours. So generally you have seen in other 4 modules exam duration is only 2 hours. But in this you have 4 hours for this exam. So that means you need to carefully check the case study and the data which is given in the question and then you have to appear for this particular question. This is the pattern of question in case study. So as you can see in the final module there is no one mark question. It directly starts from 2 mark, 3 mark, 4 mark and 5 mark questions. And in module 1 ITFP total number of items for 2 marks will be 2 questions. For 3 marks there will be 1 question and 4 marks and 5 question won't be there from the first module. So that means total marks from the module 1 will be 7%. Same way in the module 2, 2 marks question will be 1, 3 marks will be 1, 4 marks will be 1. So total marks from the second module RAIP that is 9 marks. For the final module there is a module 3 and module 4 is very important. Why? Because you can see 4 marks or 5 mark questions maximum will come from the third and the fourth module. So you can see weightage of the fourth module is 16 marks and weightage of the third module is 8 marks and the tax liability related questions are there will be in module 5 that is 10 marks and then same will be into 2. So total 100 marks paper will be there. 
so these are the detailed uh, testing of competency over various components so you can see grade 1 is 2 marks question grade 2 is 3 mark question grade 3 is 4 mark and grade 4 is 5 marks so in the 2 mark question there is a theoretical testing knowledge it completely based on the theory 3 mark question is a theoretical testing clarity of concepts or is related to the numerical testing 4 mark question and 5 mark questions is totally based on the, your numerical ability and the analytical skills. And these are the detailed syllabus from each module. Just like in section 1, from the module 1, it will be financial planning process, practice standard and the professional responsibility. Weightage in the exam will be 14% and it will be mostly theoretical and maximum they will ask uh, like three mark question numerical ability questions in section two there is a risk analysis and insurance planning weightage of this is 18 percent in this theoretical testing or numerical testing or analytical skill related questions will be there now in the section third retirement planning and employee benefits so weightage of this module in final module is 16%. So mostly like 3 marks related or 5 marks related question can come in exams. Same way in the investment planning weightage is maximum is 32%. So as you can see investment planning is a more important module for the final exams like 2 marks related 4 marks related or 5 marks related questions will be there. Then from the tax planning and the estate planning part, weightage is 20%. That means you can see all the modules are very important to clear the final module. If you have any doubts, you can contact at this email ID.